Students will walk away from the research process course prepared to talk and communicate with the researcher about their research projects and their research interests so that as a high school student or early undergraduate that we can smooth out your start or transition into a research environment. So this course is open to everyone. It's open to students who have no previous experience with research or don't even know what it means to be a researcher or what the word research means in a university. But it also is for students who've already had some experiences working with a researcher. So the course is designed to work for a wide variety of students. So there's several goals to this course, which I'm gonna go over here. Uh, first one is we wanna help you communicate your interests. And a lot of our students need support and help in learning how to communicate their interests and passions. So that can be through a resume. It can be through an email cover letter to a mentor. And it can be through a video to practice communicating with a researcher in person in the case you get an interview. So going along with communication, we need you to know yourself and know the environment you're about to walk into. So knowing yourself means learning about hundreds of potential topics, departments, and research institutes throughout North Carolina that you could potentially do a research project on. So we help you to identify your interests and to identify opportunities, and we also teach you what is the research environment like. It's gonna look very different depending on if you're on a humanities project, engineering project, or a science project. And just understanding the perspective of a mentor and what they care about makes it easier for you as a high school student to support their ongoing research projects. But core part of this course is what you might think is the simplest part, which is just reading and paraphrasing uh, scientific literature, research papers. So reading and paraphrasing is the hard part, and often it's the lab work that's the easier part for students to learn and pick up on. So we teach you exercises to not only read, but also summarize a variety of research articles tied to your interests that you want to know more about to make you more fluent in communicating about research.